If you ever had to work at a hotel while on vacation or at a family member's house over the holidays, alam natin na you can still get work done with just three items. So a sound computer or even a tablet, a reliable and preferably high-speed internet connection, and power. So those are the bare minimum that you need to be able to work remotely. Pero for working from home on a regular basis, you need more gears and other essentials to work productively and comfortably. So here are the basic work from home starter kit. And again, if you find this useful, please click the like, share, and subscribe. And click the notification bell para lagi tayong update. So number one, computer. Although a desktop works just fine, I recommend getting a laptop kasi who knows, maybe you might need to travel and bring your work with you. So things to consider include screen size, battery life. So you would want something that doesn't have to be plugged every minute, for example. And best if it can last as long as you need it to complete your work bago mo siya need a charge again. Memory and processor, which determines your laptop speed. Storage space. And if you will be traveling a lot, then of course, the weight is also very important. So ito yung mga recommended uh, specs if pipili ka ng laptop or computer. So for processor, so this is for a laptop by the way, so get at least the Intel Core i7 or i5, depende kung kailan mo mapapanood tong video na to, but right now, so get the i7. If you're going to get a computer that has AMD processor naman, so look for either the Ryzen 5, that's the minimum, or get the Ryzen 7. So, syempre, the higher the number is, the faster your processor will be. So, for RAM demand or the memory, so recommended is to get at least, so your minimum is 8 gigabytes. So if you're just going to be doing work na hindi masyadong process intensive, like, you know, word processing, simple editing. So 8 gigabytes is ready enough. Otherwise, of course, get the 16 gigs, especially if you have the budget. And then for graphics card. So you only need to worry about graphics card, actually, if you will be doing graphics intensive work like video editing, um, 3D rendering, maybe virtual reality, anything related to virtual reality, right? Otherwise, you don't really have to worry about this. And then for hard drive, so you might have already heard about HDD or hard disk drive and SSD or solid state drive. So unless you really need to save a ton of files directly on your computer, I recommend using an SSD drive because it's a lot faster. And then for operating system, lastly for the operating system, get at least Windows 10 Pro. So again, depending on when you would be watching this video, but right now, get the Windows 10 Pro. Okay, number two, internet connection and backup internet connection. You can go prepaid, pero if you will be working from home on a regular basis, then I advise getting a plan. So maraming different plans depending on where you are located. Like here sa Cavite and Metro Manila, we have PLDT, we have Globe and Converge, and marami pang iba. So please check the video description. I'll put there a list of the fastest internet service providers sa Philippines and advisable to have two different providers. So backup po yung isa in case na mag-outage yung main provider. And so for the backup, kahit prepaid lang, pwede na. Number three, backup power supply. So we do not experience a lot of power outages now, unlike before, but it's still best to be prepared. So there are different emergency power supply that you can get from generators to portable power stations to power banks to malaki yung mga capacities. And I actually made a video about a power station that I'm using myself. So you can click on the link somewhere here. Okay, number four, keyboard. If you are already using a laptop, then this may not be necessary. But if you are using a tablet or will be using a desktop or your TV as a monitor, then I recommend getting a wireless keyboard because it reduces the clutter on your desk. And I said it may not be necessary if you're using a laptop, pero I would still advise you to get one para hindi masyadong bubog yung laptop keyboard nyo. Like what happened to mine, nasira yung letter G and H, hindi na sila masyadong sensitive sa pag-press and kailangan mo nang diinan. So now, I'm using an external keyboard. Okay, number five, mouse. I also recommend getting a wireless mouse to again reduce the clutter sa desk mo. And if you can even get the ergonomic keyboard and mouse, that that's even better. Okay, number six, docking station or USB hub. If you will be using a lot of wired devices like mouse, keyboard, headsets, external drives, etc., then this is necessary, especially if you have an ultra-thin laptop. So that's one disadvantage actually of getting an ultra-thin because it's a sacrifice niya yung mga ports. Number seven, headphone or headset. So I recommend getting a noise canceling headphone. Uh, you can even get, you know, a regular wireless headset or pwede na ring USB headset. And then number eight, syempre yung software na required to do your work. So it may include Microsoft Office or Adobe uh, Creative Suite. And as 
you know, as well as password manager for shared accounts and probably VPN software na kailangan mo din sometimes. And depending on your role, you might also need special tools and gadgets such as drawing tablets, especially kung nasa graphics design ka. Yeah, so that's a starter kit if you will be doing work from home on a regular basis. However, if you will be doing work from home full time, then you need to have a full time home office kit at the same time, right? So ito naman yung mga necessities sa mga tao na nag-work from home ng full time to be able to work productively and comfortably for a long period of time. So number one, you need a comfortable desk chair. Okay, number two, you would also need a laptop stand. You might also need a dedicated webcam, depende sa work, sa nature ng work mo. And number four, a good desk lamp or a desk light. And if you have a larger budget na pwede natin dedicate sa home office mo, then you can also get an office desk. So I recommend getting an adjustable height uh, standing desk. And you also need a monitor and a monitor arm. Arm. So, I mean, I mean, additional monitor and, of course, a monitor arm. So, with an external additional monitor, then you'll get, you know, another screen to do more work. So, that's it for our video. Hope you find this helpful and see you again on the next one.